episode of X the Heroes Hardcore Challenge map. Um, we almost have a portable tank full of lava, and I think it holds like eight buckets. So we might look into upgrading that later. But this system is actually working pretty well. It it's working pretty well. So uh, we might be able to even use that as a power system for other machines. So we can uh, automatically pulverize uh, the cobblestone that comes out of here into gravel and sand and maybe even into dust. So uh, we don't have to use a hammer anymore. Just too bad that sieve doesn't work that way. Anyway, clear out my inventory, grabbed a lot of cobblestone, some monster turkey, in case I should uh, encounter some monsters. And <laughs> I'm going to the nether. Let's see what's in here. We need to go deeper. Oh, I'm already. No, I might. There's nothing here. Oh. Okay, I'm safe. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the nether on the hardcore challenge map. There is nothing here. Absolutely nothing. Just your portal. It's like create your own world because there's nothing. <laughs> so, on to find a nether fortress, I say. There should be some around here, I hope. And maybe we can get some blazes and <laughs> uh, other stuff. Like, well, the only other stuff there is is ghosts uh, and zombie people and with skeletons and magma cubes. That's about it. So that's a little bit anti-climatic. That 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 anti-climatic is that anti. No, well, I'm not anti-climate. It just turned out to be bleh, the nether. But well, it's a hardcore challenge map. If you want like blazes, maybe this is the way to go. Well, there's one other way to get blazes. That's uh, making one of these an angry doll and use it on a barrel filled with lava. So, use a diamond or an emerald with some of these uh, porcelain thingies. Yeah. Blaze rods, nether wart, glowstone, and some redstone to make this angry doll. You can also make a creepy doll with spawns and endermen if you right click on. Which one I think? Which we haven't created yet. All in due time. Right now I'm just gonna create a platform for us here. Because well there's really nothing else to do in this matter. Okay, I'm gonna expand this platform and then we'll be right back again. Right there in the distance is our first nether mob. It's a zombie pigman. And it's the first of hopefully not too many. Uh, pop, 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 pop. Trying to make a little bit of a safe zone here, but I usually suck at these things. Like nether build things. I usually end up trapping myself in getting. Killed anyway. Okay, let's see. What I really want is a uh, a blaze rod, so that I can make a potion stand. If I could make that, I could uh, try and capture a zombie. And turn it into oh, a zombie. Capture a zombie villager, turn it into villagers, and then make an artificial village to make a golem farm to get extra iron without having to sift through everything. Extra iron would be nice, <laughs> considering a lot of stuff is made out of iron. And having access to infinite amounts of iron is just very, very nice. Let me just 
block this in. Then I'm gonna get some torches in this section so that I at least have a safe area. Oh my god! So that I have a safe area and maybe add a door here with an obsidian pressure plate. So that I can just pop in and out. Oh, wooden one here, obsidian one, and the other ones can pop in and out without having to worry about closing the door. And uh, <laughs> losing all my stuff to these mobs. Just gonna close this off. In case there is going to be some guests spawning in the distance. So, but I will be safe inside this little building. Actually, transport everything here. But skyblock in the nether. Trees will still grow. So, maybe that's good for the next challenge. Or maybe I should look into developing arrows and picking the arrows up. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to get some torches now and light this place. So, be right back. Alright, just hopped into the overworld and back, and I realized I forgot my pickaxe. <laughs> so it's gonna be a pain to destroy that. Um, we got some torches still. So that if we are out and about, we don't get any mob spawns in our little safe area. That would be bad. I wanna get some torches. Can't place any water down here though. Uh, it seems to be. Oh shit. I got hit. Look at how much damage they do. Look at how much damage I'm doing. Huh? 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 You are all dead. And I got myself some gold nuggets. So I'm gonna quickly try and wreck these blocks with that door down. And also a good way to get golden swords. Which I might be able to melt down into gold as well. Ooh. Oh shit, shit, shit. This is what I mean. Uh, I don't think they break down doors to <sighs> That guy is standing over there. Do I have a chance? Can I lure him over here? Uh, wait, one, two. Ah, uh, get my pick. That's something I might want to do. Yeah, I'm gonna go get my pick. Still no cows around, nowhere to be found. And, ooh. Or lava has filled up completely. Very nice. Uh, pickaxe. I left my pickaxe in here. I got two golden swords. Can I do it? Is damage? Nope. Oh, maybe if if I look for an undamaged one. Doesn't seem to be. I thought maybe I, there was a mod where I could use it to melt it down again, but apparently there isn't. So I'm lava proof and I don't know, is it mob proof? Ooh, I haven't seen that symbol yet on a horse. That means I can walk up on block heights. Well, that's nice. Well, back to me! I'm gonna keep the nuggets here. Change this for these and go back into the lair of evil into the nether. Up, 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 up. Oh, that edge on the other side is evil though. Okay. You still waiting for me? Let's see what happens if I pop that down. Down there. What are you gonna do now, huh? If 
yourself, big man. You cannot climb from that. But I can climb from here. And do this. Ah, shit. Wow, that actually quite scared me. I hope I can get my stuff back now. Ah, 14 deaths. That's still quite a lot, but a lot of progress we made. Okay. Most of my stuff. I got my sword back, that's important. <laughs> See what kind of my stuff on that side. Oh, my muscle jerky. Okay, so this is my fighting pit where I can find zombie pigment. And they should still spawn. So I'm like over here. Da 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 da. Back there are a bunch of zombie pigment. No, they're not. To get rid of those two though. Uh, why do I have to make it even? No, I can't put a torch on the floor. Make it even. I don't want to do this. Up. And then this can go. And then I can put those in here. Let's look over there. Oh, very, very nice. My own zombie pigman slaughtering pit, but if I get too close, I get killed myself. Uh, I'll use the last blocks to, to extend this. Grow. Hopefully get some more zombie pigment to spawn. And in between episodes, I'll, I'll just have to expand it more and more, and then hopefully we'll find a location that says... Hey, I am a nether fortress. Here, so where the skeletons are spawning. Yes, that would be nice. Then we can get weird skeleton heads. And then there's a recipe to make soul sand. And they're on top of my freaking house, so I have to go and put torches on top of it. Because it's gonna get really annoying if the zombie pigmen are going to spawn up there. <sighs> Why? Are you mad at me? No? Okay, good. Torch. Now guys, I'm gonna try hitting one of you and then quickly run back into my house. Maybe I can hit that one from the side. Hey guy, come over here. Get over here. Come closer. Come closer. Ugh. Why are you being such a pain? Oh, there's another guy. Come here. Come here. Ow. Will they jump down? No, they just... Da! Sing up there. These things are dangerous. I am going to get some armor, even if it's just... Weird armor. Like... Wood armor. But it'll make me look fancy. And it'll at least have some protection. Up. There we go. I am protected now in my awesome wood armor and my troll face. Let's hope my sword landed on the right side. Uh, 
I assume I'm on the wrong side. I, did it. I want my sword back. Give me my sword back. How much health do these guys have? Way too much. Okay, no. Please, and you should not be able to respawn since I'm this close. Okay. Uh, actually, a pretty good haul of ingots. Ah, uh, not good. Another gold sword. Okay. Well, let's get going back to the overworld. Um. Start on a new project that I would like to build. Because, well, we want to make a sportable tank bigger so we can store some more lava. And for that, we need nickel and iron to make Invar. So, what we can do is make a pulverizer. And then pulverize it back into dust, combine the dust, and make invar blend, and put that invar blend in a furnace, and then we get an invar ingot. But I want to do a different thing. I want to make a smeltery from Tinker's Construct, which also requires lava, but I think it, it'll, it'll be a neat project to make on uh, this difficult map. So, what we need to start is grout. We need grout. Crafted with clay, sand, and gravel. And we just happen to have a system that can give us unlimited amount of cobblestone. Which in turn gives us an unlimited amount of gravel. Which in turn gives us an unlimited amount of sand as well. So I'll just pop this in and start making some gravel and some sand. So I'll be back in a bit. Oh, I spy with my little lion Enderman. Safe underneath there. Look at him. Okay, come here. So I want your ender pearl. Where are you? Come here. Drop an ender pearl. Oh shit, I'm too tall. Oh shit, yeah, that would just suffocate me. Now I can walk on my ears. But I don't think he dropped an ender pearl. What kind of head is that? Musical notes? Okay. I'm a troll guy now. And the troll phase actually fits him. But... He is being damaged by water, so... I don't want to be him. Okay. Be right back after creating gravel and sand. Okay, I've got myself some sand, some gravel. Somewhere in these chests, we should use this system. I can best prepare my grasslands now. Let's take some grasslands, put them in the tool station, and we're back in business. So, clay, gravel, let's take an iron. And we've got ourselves 44. Real quick. Uh, let's see. There we go. Forty-six blocks of grout. So let's take some of this coal and plunk it in. Listen, little. 
soon we might be able to use lava. And did I just hear an Enderman outside? Yes, I did hear an Enderman outside. I had a really stupid, dumb Enderman a, a second ago because I looked at him and then instead of teleporting to me, he walked off the edge. What the hell is that? Oh, I died. Enderman with a hat! Nice. But it's daylight and I can come closer. Come here. Come here. Yeah, come here. You stop running away. So, once we melt up the grout, we'll get seared bricks. Which you can use to make uh, the smeltery. See, we should have a book somewhere. Did we get a book? I might have lost it. Yeah, I think I lost it. Is there an easy way to make it back? That mod box thing bears construct. Seared stuff, tool forge. Oh, I don't need that book. That might be small. So you first a uh, blank pattern on a piece of paper. I can manage that. It tells me what's to do with that lava. Uh, da -da -da -da. Let's make a blank pattern real quick. There we go. Let's see if we have paper left. We have paper left. And piece of paper. As look at this book. Get started. Recipes. Blah 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 blah. Stencil table. We already know that. Drying rack. More berries. We can't get them. Punji stick. A few traps or blockades may help with your early survival experience. Is that like a weapon? Once you have established, you can begin with the Ah, beyond this volume. Okay. That's making route, making seared bricks, turning them into brick blocks, and smelting controller. Uh, just broken. Well, that's not how you make it. <laughs> Obviously. Oh. What kind of book is this then? Oh! This is making a normal book. Other books can be made from this one as well. Okay, so, uh, it uses the wood and then bending in the paper instead of leather. Oh, that's, that's actually quite nice. So, okay. This doesn't have the fourth book in it. Okay, so I want the second book now. Smeltery. Tools, materials, blah 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 blah. I don't think it says how to make it, does it? No. It's not telling me how to make it. Graveyard soil. Soil. Consecrated soil. Okay, okay, okay. Then I'll have to do it myself. Get this book away this time. Okay. Uh oh yeah. Getting all this. Let's turn these and then get a book. Uh ah. nine of these. And where are we gonna make it? could actually set it up right there and then have it <laughs> come in through the window so we can use it inside and have a casting bin in here. It would be rather cool. But I think I'm just gonna make it inside. So this side is for processing things with lava. Uh, and I'm gonna need lava for the smelt cream. So, I 
it's gonna be five by five. Want the base to be here. Okay. One, two, three. Three. Let's get some dirt for me. Grab some more of these. I need one more. I can just wait for one more thingy me jingy. Come on. Give me more. So this is the base of uh, this smeltery, 3 by 3 and then you just build around it like you put here, and here, and here, and here. But it can't just be all these sealed bricks, you need a smeltery controller and some other stuff. But I think I'm going to actually make it too high. If I build this in the ground, otherwise I have to build a casting bin in the ground as well, and I don't really feel like doing exactly that. Because if I then break it, it'll fall into the void. But I'm gonna need a lot more of this crowd, so I'll be back after I get some more crowd. Okay, I got a whole bunch of seared bricks, so let's see what we actually need. A smeltery controller, which is the brain of the smeltery. We also are going to need a tank to store our lava, which is used to a uh, sear tank. I need some glass, okay. which is going to be used to hold the lava to uh, heat everything up. So, let's grab a piece of sand, put it in there. Maybe it'll get cooked with the last piece of coal. Put a slab in to be sure. Yeah, it got cooked. So that's something we need. And what else do we need? We need a smelting drain to get uh, liquid metals out. And we need to get a faucet to get uh, liquid metal to go into something, you know, we need a casting table. Well, to cast the liquid metal into whatever we want it to be. So the rest is seared bricks, which is uh, probably not going to be enough. So I'm going to go to put the tank close to where our lava is going to be, which is right here. So I can actually grab it from there. So I'm gonna put it there. Put some bricks on it and some laggy. No idea why, so I will be back when I resolve the lag. Okay. I don't know what it was. I just stopped recording and started recording again and now it went from ten frames per second to two hundred. I don't know what's going on. <sighs> I'm gonna put a controller right here so I can still access it. And I see I'm gonna need a lot more seared bricks. So let me <laughs> craft up a lot more grout and then I will be back. Okay, get some more grout cooking up. Meantime, I'm gonna see how to fill this uh, sear tank the best way. But these were lead and copper, so they don't like that. Attach them to the line of lava we have going already. Uh, two pieces of copper, one piece of lead. <laughs> I'm gonna have to get some more soon. Is it in? Gonna last forever. Fluid ducts. Mm. 
this like that. And our sear tank is actually already filled with lava. That went pretty quick. Oh my god, these things are completely filled with lava, except for the last one right now. That's going to be filled with cobblestone in a bit. So yeah, we got a, a very good log on. This, this works better than I could imagine it. And there's that weird line again. I have no idea what this is called. Be right back. It seems to be an issue with traps. I have no idea what it is. Anyway, we are going to put our casting table not here. Uh, here. This is going to be a wall. Right there. And, uh, this one is going to go here. So this is going to be the inside. Build. Oh, yeah, it's done. So you can right click on this. And everything will pour out, and this is where we will uh, stick our stuff in once everything is open. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Club 11, is here, no 12, need to see your join project, 14, 15, Phoenix. 16, 17 times four pieces of. Club is here, no need to see your switch uh, channel to general chat club on project, Phoenix. Not 24 at all. We should be able to. Okay, so this is actually already working. I thought it would work. That's not working. It's completely failed. Should be a way to put stuff in here. Okay, let me find out what's going on with it and then I'll be back. Okay, figured out what was going on. The smeltery controller actually has to face the right way. Like this face has to be on the outside. And if I put the fa that face over here, it'll look at the back of the block to see if there is a smeltery. And if you put the face here, it won't recognize the smeltery. So we can actually put stuff in here already. Like the, the nickel and the uh, the iron that we wanted to smelt together. Uh, let's see, invar, invar, invar. We are going to invar, which requires two iron and one nickel to make three invar blend. So that should give us uh, enough. Wait, before we do that, we need to make a Cost. So I need to smelt one gold ingot. Put the gold ingot here. It'll turn liquid. And then once, see, see it being right there. Once we build a second level, we can uh, get it out of the drain right here. So I am going to get myself some more of that crowd stuff. And again, I'll be. And it started raining. Almost got the smeltery completed. You can always already see the melted gold in there. Now, if you want to make a cast to make ingots, we well, we melted some gold. Normally, you'd use a combination of aluminum and copper and aluminum, aluminum brass. But since we don't have any aluminum here, there's no ore spots. Uh, actually, Halo doesn't make that. We can also use gold. So we just take an ingot, any ingot, and put it in here. And my flap keeps lagging. I don't know what it is. And it's starting to get really annoying. Like, a frame rate of 3 per, per second. And then when I stop recording, I stop recording. Again, it'll stop doing that. That's weird. Okay. So we put our ingot in, like so, and then we hit the faucet. And that might not have been enough gold. 
I don't think that was enough books. So let's grab another ingot. Gold ingot. And pop that one in as well. Smelter the drawer. See, and you can see the book sitting there, and after a while, it'll get liquid. Out, put it out of the faucet. You guys enjoying yourselves outside during the daylight because you can't die, you have to get rain. There you go. What are you after? Are you afraid of me? Are you afraid of me? Huh? Are you afraid of me? You should have been running faster. Ooh, my base has really grown. Automatic lava system. Now I'm not a medic to be farm system. Animal farm. Wait, do you check that? Okay. I've got this water here. Okay, there's some molten gold in there. You can also see that here. Uh, one ingot. So it could be that this. Yep, see? It hardened. We now have a ingot cost. Put that in. And then let's. We need two iron ingots and one nickel ingot to make three import ingots. But in order to upgrade the portable tank, we need four. Four of these, two of these, and we should be able to fit it all in there. Now that will melt. That's a little odd, that's a nickel. But that'll melt and it'll combine. You can also make bronze this way, or electrum by combining different alloys. And after a while, in a while, in a bit, we can also start making a, uh, a Tinker's Construct alloy called uh, Manulan. Is that in my book? Where's my book? Where's my book? I think this is the wrong book. Subsidian. Ah, Alumite. This is al Alumite. Uh, doesn't say how to craft it. Price is really But it's obsidian and iron. Maybe aluminum, but I'm not so sure. If it does use aluminum, well, but got the Okay, let's see. Now let's just do salt or liquidy. It's called fluid.invar.molten. So we should be able to get six ingots out of this. Let's, <laughs> let's hope it's true. Three, four, five, and stop raining. And this is six. We got six ingots. Six in our ingots. Now, let's grab our classic uh, hammer. And hopefully, all the lava in here will be retained. Tank and surrounded by in our ingots. Well, you can even see that it's only half full. Nice. Put that back here, and we can immediately see it filling up. It's completely filled again. So we should see. Oh my god. This is a real good lava factory. Just using one bucket of lava, and you can make tons of free lava. Okay. I think it's time to wrap this up for now. We have a smeltery, which we can also use to make advanced tools instead of. These flint thingies, or wood, or stone, 
we can actually make uh, iron and gold and copper and stuff, lead, and if you want, just like uh, these things. You craft your item. Uh, let me show you. Like that. You make a cobblestone pickaxe head. Then you put your pickaxe head in here. And then you can make a pickaxe head cast, just like we made the uh, ingot cast. And you can pour your metal in there and make uh, advanced tools. Well, tools with advanced materials. Jesus, I'm losing my speech. Okay, we got two invars left, so I'm gonna be able to use them for something else. By the way, my name was Tom, Quillface, and I'll see you next time. Bye!